Hi there, it's Ruth at artfulstampin.co.uk and I'm really excited to show you this week um, a card made with this lovely new stamp set called Watercolour Wings. Um, I received it this week and I've been having a lovely play with it and um, I can just see how the possibilities of creating with this is just absolutely endless. Okay, so um, here's the stamp set and you can purchase it with the coordinating uh, framelits and dies uh, um, and you get if you buy them together you get 15% uh, reduction on that so the, the two together comes to £32.50 and it, it really is a, a great investment for your craft kit if you, particularly if you like butterflies. Okay so I've already cut out um, the, the butterfly die here just to save a little bit of time and I've popped a little bit of Tombow glue, um, Tombow adhesive on the back. Now I've done a very thin layer of it because, and let it dry because I just want to sort of stick it where I'm going to be working and then I want it to be able to remove it later. So if you didn't know that about Tombow, it's a really useful glue that if you put, apply a little bit of glue and let it dry, it becomes tacky, which is fantastic. Um, sometimes that's not great though if you get glue where you don't want it to go. Um, so Stampin' Up! do do a fantastic silicone rubber thing type widget thing uh, <laughs> that works really well um, rubbing off glue where you, you know, if you've got it somewhere you don't want it to go. Right, so I'm actually um, going to be using colours that I picked up from a colour challenge blog and um, if you're um, a little bit colour challenged and you find it hard to combine colours then there's loads of um, really good blogs and um, Pinterest uh, pins about colour coordination and, and particularly using Stampin' Up! colours. So do, do Google that and um, be inspired. Okay, so I'm using So Saffron here, and I'm just going to be stamping my butterfly image um, over the top of a, the die cut that I've already done, and hope I'm going to get it in the right place. Oh, not too bad, but I think I will have another little go, because I actually cut up a spare one just in case. So, um, forgive me, but I'm just going to have to move it a little bit further down so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing because my sub camera setup kind of prevents me from really seeing what I'm doing so it's a bit easier if I do it this way okay that's a bit better right so um, if you were doing this yourself you wouldn't need to um, cut the die out first and then and then do it you can um, actually oh you can actually um stamp your image and then cut it out and if you have the magnetic um, um, oh what's it called magnetic platform um, it makes life even easier because the butterfly the framelits will just sort of sit in place okay so now I'm using um, hello honey there we go and you can see how it works it's really really easy um, I call this three step stamping because we're doing three lots of stamping here oh, and we're going to go in for the final one and we're using a little bit of soft suede here and I'm actually going to stamp off because I, I had a little experiment earlier and I found the um, colour a little bit too dark using it straight on so I'm going to stamp off and see, oh you know what, I'll experiment on then just check that that will work out Sometimes it's good just to do a bit of an experiment to check things work. Okay, yeah, that does. Now I found that you do have to make sure that you press down well with the photopolymer. Oh, I like that. I like that effect. Wonderful. Okay, so I've already um, cut out one of the butterflies from the framelits and I've cut that out in Hello Honey. I'm going to stick that on there. Now, a fantastic tip I picked up from um, another demonstrator was to actually stamp the centre of the butterfly after you've um, stamped the, body, the, the main part of it. So I think I will then now use soft suede in all its glory to do body there. Okay. Oh, lovely. 
Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so the other little thing I want to play with are these little dots here that come in this stamp set. I'm just going to use a little bit of Hello Honey to add a little bit more interest to my butterfly. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to stick that over the top for um, my card. Right, so I have um, my card base here that I've cut with a new, fabulous new Whisper White thick cardstock. We are now in session, ladies and gentlemen, with the thick cardstock. So please, Stampin' Up! have decided to um, stock this. And I'm going to stamp a bit of a background to this image so I'm stamping with the um, so saffron I'm just going to do a few dotty images here and then I think I'm going to just do some across here as well it's just to create a bit of a, a background let's have a look what that looks like I'll do a few more This is a really simple way to create some interest on a card. I think I'm going to experiment a bit more and do a few more, I think. This is with the Hello Honey now. Just to give it a little bit more depth. Right. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Now. Um, kind of all about new product today. We've got some of this gorgeous gold thread and it's really, really, really fine. But it's really lovely to work with. And what I do is um, take quite a bit off the, the reel. And then I need to get my um, stamping dimensionals at the ready. And it's great to use up these last little bits that can often be left on the... Um, on your dimensional sheet. And I'm just going to pop that across there and get that ready. And you'll see why in a moment because this stuff is quite springy. So what I do is um, I curl, not curl, wrap some gold thread around three of my fingers and then I wrap it then around four of my fingers. Okay. I'll do quite a bit because I want this to be quite a luxurious looking card. Okay, and then I'm going to place that in the middle there. And as you can see, it's springing around a little bit, so you have to kind of work quickly. And then I'm just going to grab my butterfly really quickly and pop that over the top. Secure in place. Try and make sure it's in the middle. Okay, yep, yeah, brilliant. And then maybe I've got some stray threads here. You can tuck those. Sometimes you can tuck those under a little bit. There we go. Oh. And then a little tip I have to make the butterfly sort of wings curl up a little bit, little bit I use the back of my um, scissors here just to stroke the butterfly wings like that to make them curl outwards because it's quite nice to have them curling up a little bit. Okay, then I'm just going to pop that in the middle. She says if the glue worked, okay I'll use my crystal effects because I'm going to actually use crystal effects to do something else and I need to, need to show you that. Always have a pin handy when you're using crystal effects because the, um, the nozzle can get a little bit gunked up sometimes. We haven't used it for a while. There we go. Right, let's check that on there. Okay, and then all that remains me for me to show you is a little trick I discovered with, if 
couple of sequins. Of course, you can put a sentiment at the um, on the card if you so wish, but I don't think you need me to show you how to do that. I'm just going to use the crystal effects to. Um, oh, it's a little, getting a bit blobby. This crystal effects, but never mind. Hope it's going to work. Okay, so you get one of the sequins, pop it on. Okay, so you're sticking it on. Sorry, not as if. Actually, stick them on. <laughs> right, uh, I'm just gonna pop another, another few there. And crystal effects is a fantastic glue. It's very, very strong, but it can also be used to um, for other great effect. And this is something I've discovered that if you squeeze a little bit out onto the top of the sequin and let it dry. It's a really gorgeous domed effect on top of the sequin and makes it look really, really lovely. And I'm going to actually add a little bit more, I think, just to the centre of the butterfly. And when I post this on my blog later, I will take photos of it with it all dried so that you can actually see what it looks like finished. Okay, so there's my butterfly card for today. And I'll just show you um, some other cards I've made with different kind of colours and using um, different stamps for the background. So here's one, here's the one that I did with the the sequins and the um, crystal effects. I don't know if you can see that. And here I've used gorgeous grunge as a background. Um, the stripes and the and the dots and things and the new gorgeous flower accents that, that are in the current in colours they're lovely um, and this one I've used the current ribbon and done a really big kind of frou frou -y thing with the thread there and then use gorgeous grunge kind of like over and over again here to create this speckled effect at the edge of the card um, and on these two, I've used the tree stamp, like the leafy tree stamp from Sheltering Tree, to create the background to these before sticking the butterfly on. Okay, so um, I hope you um, go and have lots of fun experimenting. Obviously, you can use your own butterfly dies and bits and bobs that you've already got, but um, have fun getting thread and sticking the thread on and using your crystal effects on sequins and doing backgrounds. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. And um, if you like my videos, please um, don't forget to subscribe. And I love hearing from people and what they've been getting up to and how they've been inspired. So um, do get in touch. Okay, take care for now. Bye.